Welcome to Gamer Poets and to this comprehensive and fully functional guide on Skyrim Console Commands, a channel dedicated to immersion, to enjoyment, and to you. In a universe full of Adra, Daedra, Mer, and Men, with an open, lore-rich world beckoning adventurers to explore it, it is only natural that the world's best game modifiers would take notice. Let's join them. This tutorial is completely optional. Each command within will be explained to the best of my abilities. Take caution, as some commands could potentially break your save. In rare cases, you may have to reinstall Skyrim altogether. A break can happen long after a command is executed, and tracing its origin may not be possible. If you plan on experimenting, create a backup of your save file and place it somewhere safe. If you are looking for permanent game setting changes, view the Skyrim Any File Guide here in the helpful secondary video section. Console Commands Explained the console is a powerful in-game tool used to execute commands. It is accessed by pressing the tilde key at any time in-game. A command is a short line of code similar to an any file setting. At times, IDs, names, and or values are required for a command to work. Other times, they are optional or not applicable. Commands are executed within the console to configure game properties without having to exit the game. There are both temporary and permanent commands. Temporary commands automatically reset when the game is exited, and commands are case insensitive. Toggle commands. Toggle commands toggle settings off and on. Go in game and open the console. Type anim cam, then push enter to execute the animator camera. This toggles a third-person camera mode, letting you rotate and zoom around the player without changing the direction that he or she is facing. In the console, type PSB, then push Enter to execute the player spellbook. This gives the player all spells, including shouts, and it unlocks bestial abilities. Dragon souls are still required to unlock shouts, and it has been reported by some to cause CTD. In the console, type S, 1, S, T, and execute it. This will toggle the simultaneous first person, third person view. To execute this, you have to first be in third person. This places your body in front of yourself, showing both first and third person view simultaneously. In the console, type S, U, C, S, M, or set UFO cam speed molt. Leave a space, and then enter the speed that you want the camera to move. When you have selected your speed, push enter. This will set the speed at which the UFO, free flying, camera moves. In the console, type TAI or toggle AI. This will toggle artificial intelligence. Before typing the command, if you have a specific character selected, it will turn off the AI just for it. If you have nothing selected, it will turn off the artificial intelligence globally. Re-entering the command and executing it again will turn it back on. In the console, type TC and enter to execute. This is for toggle controls given. If used when highlighting an NPC, your game controls will be transferred to it, allowing you to control it as if it were your character. However, unless you enter the command player.tc to remove your control over your own character, any command that you input will be passed on to both the player and the target. In the console, type TC AI then execute it. This is for Toggle Combat Artificial Intelligence. This command toggles Combat AI Processing off or on. In the console, type TCL and execute it. This will toggle collision. You will be able to move in any direction and through anything. If an actor is not selected, it will turn off collision for the player while keeping NPCs stuck in place. Deselect any target reference by double-clicking the same object or area causing TCL to default to the player. Very useful if your player gets stuck. Instead of having to reload the save, you can type this command, get unstuck, type it again to turn it back on. In the console, type T detect, which stands for Toggle Artificial Intelligence Detection. This will toggle AI detection. It will make all characters become oblivious to the player's presence, even when attacking. In the console, type T-E-O-F-I-S. This represents toggle end of frame image space. 
This will toggle the blur, contrast adjustment, fade in and out, eye adaption, and other similar effects on and off. While this may take away from the visual aesthetics for some, lower end systems will gain a noticeable performance boost. In the console, type TFC for Toggle Free Flying Camera. This toggles the free cam off and on by switching your control from the character to the camera. This will work both in first person and third person. In the console, type TFC, leave a space, 1, push enter. This will do the same as TFC with the addition of freezing all characters in game in their current position. In the console, type TFOW. This stands for Toggle Fog of War. This command reveals all unexplored areas on the local map. It has no effect on the world map. It's been said that activating this when mining or woodcutting can cause your character to disappear, to not be able to attack, and or to not be able to go into third person. Loading a previous save before these happenings can potentially fix this, but it is not guaranteed. In the console, type TG for toggle grass. This will toggle the grass on or off. In the console, type TGM for toggle god mode. This will toggle god mode off and on. Only usable on the player, this will grant you no damage taken, no magicka consumed, no stamina used, no encumbrance, unlimited projectiles, and no shout cooldown time. At the console, type TIM for toggle immortal mode. Push enter to execute. This will toggle immortal mode off and on. Only usable on the player, it allows you to stay alive with a health of zero. Even if decapitated, you will continue without a head and your animations will be limited. Saving a game like this can potentially corrupt your save. You will gain no other effects from this. In the console, type TLL for Toggle Leveled LOD. Push Enter to execute. This will toggle most levels of LOD off and on. In the console, type TM for Toggle Menus, Enter to Execute. This toggles menus off and on. Menus refer to heads-up display or HUD elements. The console will immediately visually disappear, but it will still be active after the command is initiated. Push the tilde key again to close the console. To toggle TM off, you must do the same process, but you won't be able to see what you are typing on screen when you do. Simply run through the steps and execute it for the menus to come back on. In the console, type TMM and leave a space. This command is to toggle map markers. You can then type either 1 to toggle map markers on, or 0 to toggle them off. Next, in addition to TMM1, you can add TMM1, comma, leave another space, and add a second parameter. Adding 1 here will leave all map markers discovered, or putting 0 will make them all undiscovered. And finally for this command, having your first parameter with a comma, then a space, second parameter, comma, and a space, you can again add either 1 or 0. This third parameter will represent all being 1 or all but hidden being 0. You can toggle this command with 1 or 2 or all three parameters depending on what you want to do. In the console, type TS and push enter to execute toggle sky. This will toggle the sky off and on. Type TSCR. This stands for Toggle Script Processing. This will toggle Global Script Processing off and on. Next, type TT representing Toggle Trees. Executing this will toggle trees off and on. In the console, type TWF, which stands for Toggle Wireframe. This will toggle wireframe off and on in red or opaque. And the final toggle command of this tutorial, type TWS representing toggle water system. This will toggle water display off and on, though leaving underwater display untouched. Targeted commands. Targeted commands require a target reference to work. One way to do this is to use the mouse to target anything on screen while the console is open. Select the target, then initiate a command. The second way to do this is to add the prefix player dot to a command to target yourself. And the final way to do this is to use the prid prid command to target anything in game even if it's off screen. In the console, type add item, leave a space, type the item ID, leave another space, then numerically type out how many of this item you want. If it is one, you still have to type one. Push enter to execute.
This command will add a specified amount of any item to any character. You can also remove items from a character by using a negative amount. In the example that you see, player.addItem 000000F space 1000 has added 1000 gold to my inventory. In the console, type add perk, leave a space, and type the perk ID, then execute it. This command will add a perk to any character. In this example, player dot add perk, leaving a space 00051B1B gives the vanilla game custom fit perk from the light armor skill tree to my character. Next, type add spell, leave a space, and type the spell ID. This will add a specific spell, power, ability, blessing, or disease, no shouts, to any character. The example that you see, player dot add spell, leaving a space, 000B8780, has infected my character with Sanguine Vampiris, and it will react the same way as if I just contracted it from a vampire, taking three days to fully become one. Type the command, add fac, or add to faction, leaving a space, typing the faction ID, leaving another space, and typing the faction rank, pushing enter to execute. This command adds any character to a specific faction. Valid faction rank values vary, though zero will always add the actor to the lowest possible rank with the selected faction, and a negative one will remove the actor from the faction altogether. In this example, player.addFac, leaving a space, 000E0C, D9, leaving a space, 0, has made most bandits friendly to my character. In the final targeted command of this tutorial, player.adv level. This will advance the characters and consequently findable loot and enemy difficulty levels by one. However, you are not given the option to increase attributes and you are not allowed perk points. Therefore, skills will not improve with this command. The main purpose of this, knowing that the game levels with you, would be to make the difficulty of the game harder. Untargeted commands. Untargeted commands do not require a target reference. In the console, type CAQS, which represents complete all quest stages. This will complete every quest in game. It can cause CTD and will unlock many quest related Steam achievements. In the console, type COC, leave a space, and then type a cell name. This command stands for Center on Cell. It will transport your character to the center of a specified cell. As you can see in this example, COC, leaving a space, Riverwood, has teleported my character to the Riverwood cell. Most location codes can be found by typing the command help, leaving a space, a location's name, leaving another space, followed by zero. And in this example, we can see help, Breeze Home Zero, tells me that the actual cell name of Breeze Home is Whiterun Breeze Home. So to teleport there, I would type in COC space Whiterun Breeze Home. In the console, type CSB. This represents Clear Screen Blood. This will remove all blood from the player's viewing screen. Next, in the console type FOV, leave a space, then type the angle that you want. This stands for Field of View. And this command changes the field of view to the specified angle. This command can only be permanent if set inside of the any files. Otherwise, it will be reset when exiting the game. Next, type FW, leave a space, and put the form ID of a specific weather. FW stands for force weather. This will set the current weather to the specified value for a short period of time. Next, type FW, leave a space, put the form ID of weather again, put a comma, leave another space, and type 1. This is the exact same as FW, but it will extend the time that the weather will last. All of the weather form IDs can be found on the Google Doc. Next, in the console, type help, leave a space, and then type any text that you want. This will return the IDs for everything in game containing the text that you have typed. In this example, help AR will return IDs from armor, to Argonian, everything in between. You can use the page up and page down keys to scroll through all of the results. Next command, type kill all actors or kill all, standing for kill all actors. This will kill 
all non-essential NPCs and knock down essential NPCs in whatever cells are currently loaded. Next command, PCB, standing for Purge Cell Buffer. This will purge unused memory, giving a temporary FPS boost. It is best used in interior cells. You can also set this permanently to execute on fast travel by using the INI files. Next command, type QQQ. This stands for Fast Quit. It will instantly quit Skyrim to the desktop. Next, type SAQ, which represents Start All Quests. This command will start and add all quests to your journal that are in the entire game. It has been known to cause CTD, though this command, as well as some others mentioned, are great to use when creating showcase videos. Next command, type set, leave a space, timescale, space, two, space, and then type in the value. This will set the speed at which time passes in-game. The vanilla default is 20, and real-world time is 1. Another good setting for video creation when using high speeds. And the final untargeted command of this tutorial, type in SGTM, leave a space, and put a value. This stands for Set Game Time Multiplier. This sets the game time multiplier so that everything, including combat and dialogue in game, can be in fast forward or slow motion. Console Command Batch Files When you are in game, if you type the command BAT, leave a space, and then the title of a batch file that you have created, it will execute that pre-made batch file for you. A console command batch file is a simple text document created to run multiple console commands without having to enter each one manually. And this is how you create and execute one. From your computer, navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim, and open the data folder. Create a text document, and then choose a name that will represent the commands that will be added to the batch. For this example, I will name it Slow Motion Fast World. If you do not know how to reveal file extensions, the .txt, refer to the helpful secondary video section. Next, open the document, and beginning on the top line, type out a command, the same way that you would using the console in-game. You can add as many commands as you like, but only one command per line. Commands will execute top to bottom. Don't forget to save your text file when you have finished adding all of the commands to it. Finally, go in-game, open the console, Type the batch command, execute the command, and close the console. As you can see, my slow motion, fast world batch file has executed and all is working so that I can take some fast world, slow character motion shots, and instead of having to type out every single console command, all I had to do was execute the batch file. And now, this is where I take some time to generically, yet sincerely, Thank all of you for sticking it out with me through this tutorial. As always, without all of the sites listed on screen right now, this video would not be possible. They are the ones who have found the information. I have simply made it more accessible and I have tested it on my own. Also, without all of you guys watching, this video would also not be possible. I will be updating this video in the future, adding a few more commands, potentially expanding on some others. As it will be a while until that video is created, leave your suggestions, your comments, your opinions in the comment section so when I'm recreating and updating this video, I can take them into consideration when doing so. If you desire some more to the point video navigation, you can find that in the video's description. And as always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you all for watching.